What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Bevo Art Token. Now, this is very, very new, and this is something that is actually very, very interesting in the NFT space. So, before we get into the video, I do want to say, guys, please do do me a favor. Leave a like button on for the YouTube algorithm. Drop a comment down below, and please do subscribe. I'm trying to get to 21,000 subscribers. We're so close. So if you guys can help me get there, that would be amazing. Also, before we get started into about this token, I do want to say, if you guys want to get my crypto and stock market buy, sell alerts, <coughs> you can actually do so uh, right here. The link will be down below for just $19, okay? So let's talk about Bevo Art, okay? So... Whew, there is a lot going on here. Uh, there is a huge, like very in-depth white paper. Uh, the website, there's just so much information. So I'm just going to cover over the, I guess, the main aspects of it. Uh, and I want you guys to really go in, do your research, join the Telegram, follow them on Twitter and all that stuff because there's so much in here. Uh, so this is a digital art backed by real artists, okay? <clears throat> so we can see the Bevo token is a Binance or BEP20 token created on the Binance smart chain. It's a cryptocurrency asset whose value is backed by real art from real artists. So they are going to have a Bevo NFT art gallery, which will feature paintings, sculpture, photos, and digital artwork from artists all around the world. Now, each piece will be represented by a unique non-fungible token minted on the Binance smart chain. Now, this opens up the possibility for a truly frictionless way to trade not only NFTs, but any work of art. So we can see here, guys, uh, tokenized art, right? We can see Bevo is tokenizing traditional art. Uh, artists will be able to tokenize their work through our decentralized application, which creates digital NFTs that represent their art. Now, these NFTs, uh, actually, I'm not going to read through everything because if I do that, we're going to be here for an hour. <laughs> but we guys can see the Bevo Art Gallery as well. Uh, we can see a new way to trade art, a new way to invest in art, a decentralized global art community, and the Bevo Art House. So again, very, very cool. We can see this is created by artists for artists. Uh, and again, we can see the tokenization, the curation, and the minting as well. Uh, we're also going to take a look at the white paper a bit, like I said. Uh, and I guess they have apps coming out in Q3 2021. Now, let's take a look at the powerful tokenomics. So we can see the total supply, 5 billion Bevo tokens minted. Now, instantly, one thing I like is this is not just one of those stupid projects where there's like like a thousand quadrillion, like this, that, whatever. There's just 5 billion tokens. Uh, although that might seem like a lot, there's 5 billion and boom, that's it. Now, uh, we can also see there has been a 20% token burn and the circulating supply, there's only 3 billion tokens supplied to liquidity. Uh, and we can see the token locks as well. Now we can see this is deflationary. So 2% transaction burn to ensure appreciation of token over time, 2% liquidity lock, 2% reflection. So 2% of every transaction will be redistributed to all holders and 2% of every transaction will be contributed to the marketing and development fund. So again, very, very interesting. Uh, and like, honestly, guys, like some people look at this and they think it's a red flag. Honestly, I think it like I can see why people think that, but I do think it's in important for the marketing and the devs to constantly have more money to play with so they can continue to scale their projects. I don't think it's necessarily always a bad thing, <clears throat> but at the same time, I can see why people think it could be a bad thing. Now, we can see the Bevo token rewards artists and investors. Uh, we can also see we are one community. Uh, so like I said, guys, I strongly recommend go through and join their Twitter and their Telegram and their Discord uh, and ask some questions as well. Uh, so you guys can see that. Uh, we can also see you guys can get this on PancakeSwap as well. Uh, and we can see, guys, NFTs, you know, this is not like, like there's going to be a huge NFT craze, I think, in a couple of months. Because if we all, you know, remember correctly, we know there are so many tokens that have been, I guess, newly created that want to do NFTs in like Q3 of 2021. So I think in Q3 of 2021, we're going to see a crazy, crazy NFT like, like skyrocket. Uh, we're going to see, I'm not saying it's a bubble, but I'm saying we're going to probably going to see something in my opinion. Now, uh, moving forward, we can just see, you know, they just have other like articles and just other information over here, which again is very, very cool. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is actually very, very, very new as well as they have a lot of plans. Okay. Like I said, there's so much here. Uh, I'm going to quickly go through this roadmap so we can see team recruitment, community recruitment and onboarding, pre-sale marketing campaign, uh, DX sale link, liquidity pool, manual burn, marketing campaigns, community listings. Uh, by the way, they are already on CoinGecko and I believe they did that within 24 hours, which is nuts. Uh, an exhibition art collection, uh, registration of, I don't know what this is, um, manual burn number two, contract audit, exchange listings, uh, and they want to do this within six weeks of launching on PancakeSwap. So again, uh, 
estimated weeks what is this lock six weeks from may 12th so again uh, initiation of phase two within eight weeks so guys they have some a lot a lot of information on here like this is honestly one of the most in-depth websites i've seen now we can see as well guys uh coin gecko within one day after launch they actually listed uh bevo digital we'll get which again very very cool uh and we can see guys it's literally just launched very very new very very interesting as well we can already see they have some art going on like it's actually very cool like this is not like literally guys look may 16th so what like what a week or two ago they just got 100 telegram users so again uh very very interesting uh and yeah guys super super cool now we can take a look at the chart as well we can see that there was a decent sell-off but again we can see this is rallying up again oh, let me close this uh and we can see it is rallying up again uh again it is starting to i guess pull back a bit but Guys, this is the chart. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And obviously, guys, this is their white paper. Like I said, I'm not going to go through and read everything just because that will take me forever. But uh, we can see the two year uh, what is this phase map as well, which, again, very, very cool. Uh, and yeah, guys, go check this out. Uh, I think it's very, very interesting. And I honestly genuinely do think this has a lot of potential, especially due to the fact that there is just this whole NFT craze that we're expecting to happen. Uh, and I also really like the branding, like the whole Bevo thing. I really like how it just it's it's like a very like modern, simplistic, minimalistic look. I, I really like that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments down below. What do you guys think about Bevo art? Uh, like I said, I think it's very, very interesting. I think it has a lot of potential as well. Uh, so if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And until next time, guys, remember, stay seeking success.